Hello again, YouTubers. Welcome back to the Board Game Captain. I'm the Board Game Captain. And I'm Lynn. And today we're going to be reviewing and showing you how to play Minnow and Tori. Now, Minnow and Tori is a game designed by Carlo A. Rossi and is published by Amigo Games. Now, this is a uh, family weight cooperative game for ages six and up, two to four players, and listed as a 15 minute game. So let's start there. Now, the six and up is actually a, a really good estimate. Um, this game is very easy to play. And in fact, it's a great mm -hmm. game to play with kids to teach them uh, both teamwork and patience and good time management skills. But this is a, actually a really good family weight game in that regard. Would you agree with that statement? Yeah. And for the two to four players, this feels a little weird to me. This feels like a two player game specifically to me. I don't understand the whole two to four. It feels two player to me. Would you agree with that? Uh, yeah, If I, I remember in the rules, there's like some kind of, they change it a bunch to make it four player. But it's, it's weird. It, yeah, it's strange how, what they do to the rules. Yeah, to, so no, this is, this is, a two, this is a two player game. And the, but the 15 minutes is right. This is a lightning fast game. We have never just played this game once because of how fast it is. We mm -hmm. play it and we're like, oh, let's play another one of the maps. So let's open it up and show what comes in the box from Minnow and Tori. So the first thing you have is the rules. Now the rule pamphlet is all of four pages, full color, tons of diagrams, and it's really well done. I have no complaints with the rules. How about you? No, it's, it's pretty clear and concise. Now the next thing we have here are the boards. Now these are the boards for play, and each one, they have varying difficulties. As you can see here, these are lots of large corridors. That makes this a very easy board. Whereas this one here, with lots of tiny, tight corridors, is a lot more difficult. And this game comes with a bunch of two-sided boards of varying degrees of difficulty. So you have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boards in the box. Mm -hmm. Then we have these brackets here, which go on the side of the box so you set the board up in the middle so that each player plays on either side of the board these brackets go here and and on the opposite side here and then you slide the board into the slot in the middle of the brackets then we have a sand timer mm -hmm. pretty standard uh do you know how many minutes this one is i don't know this it is... probably says i'm not actually in sure here somewhere but i don't know but it's you know, pretty standard i i often don't like sand timers in games but actually in this one it works okay and then we have some some nice cards here some uh, fairly good looking cards which have backs like depending on the um on what they're used for. They have different different uh, pictures and such. These ones have pictures of things that you need to find throughout the maze, different components to get your ship built again. Because the, the theme of this game is that you're aliens that crash your spaceship in a corn uh, cornfield and you have to get the, um, the parts to fix your ship so you can move. And then the final bit of components are the two alien pieces themselves. They are Minnow and Tori. Now Minnow and Tori are identical except that one is red and one is blue and they're little plastic pieces and they're pretty adorable. Mm -hmm. And the most interesting part of Minnow and Tori is the fact that Minnow and Tori are magnetic and one of you plays one board while the other player plays the other board and you can move them both around on the boards which is really cool and we're going to show you that. Now final thing I do want to draw attention to is the box actually becomes the play space. So in, in many cases, when they do illustrations on the inside of the box, it's nice but unnecessary. Mm -hmm. But here it's actually necessary mm -hmm. because it is, it is your play space that you are going to be playing in. So that's, that's everything that comes in the box from Minnow and Tori. So now we're going to head over to the table and we're going to run you through a quick game of this to show you how it plays. And then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about how this game feels and we're going to review it and rate it. 
Okay, so here we can see ourselves set up for a game of Minnow and Tori. So we've got the board in the middle of us here, and you can see a bunch of the different things I need to find to repair the ship on my side. Now, Lynn's got a bunch of things on her side, but I can't see her side of the board. So the first thing we do is we draw a card from this deck here to show where we start. And in this case, it says we have to start at number four. So I'm gonna place myself at four, and we are now magneted together there, which means if I move us there, we uh, Linz will move on the other side and vice versa. Now you cannot move through the walls, so you have to work together because on your opponent, on your teammate's side, they may not have a wall there and they may be able to actually get you around on that side. So then to start the game, what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the sand timer and then start drawing cards. And as we draw a card, we figure out who's got it on their side of the board and then we rush to get it. We have to either get through all of the cards before the sand timer runs out, finding all of the components, or if the sand timer runs out, we will kind of lose because we will not have found all the components if we drop our pieces off the board. So we have to be careful not to do that. We have to draw another card for where to start and we have to, we don't stop the sand timer, so you gotta go quickly. So there you have it. So we're gonna we're just gonna get this started and show you how it goes. Uh, so we, what we're gonna do is we're do gonna sand timer you ready? Yeah. Yes. Then you're gonna I'm gonna have you do the cards. You ready? Okay. <laughs> go. Oh, it's Elvis. I have Elvis. Okay. Which okay. way do we need to go? Um, he's in the top uh, corner. Okay, I can't get you up there, but I can get you over here. Does that help? No, that doesn't help at all. Okay. Put me back. Um, where can you get oh, me from? Oh, I here? can get you further up. Can you get me? North? I can get you up there. Okay. From here, can you get me north? And? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, he is directly to my right. Can you get me to, yes, I got him. Okay, good, next card. Uh, the, underpants. I need to go that way or down, either way. I can go down, I can go down a little farther. Go further, you. further. Okay, I can get down to here, can we go this way? Yes. Okay, I can get you to here, can we go a little bit to the right, to that way? A little bit up, stop. I got it, next one. Ooh, it's the shower curtain. Um, oh, I have that on okay. my side. I need to go to my right. Uh, I can get you here oh, and I can go up. I got it. Okay, next. Oh, it's a That's coffee maker. Uh, I think you have it. Oh, I do have it. I need to get to my left. Okay, I can get you... That's perfect. Okay. Got it. Okay, next. Oh, it's, uh, I need to go... I need to go a little bit that way. A little bit that way. Can I? Can you get me just... Stop. Got it. Next. Okay, it's the portal. I have the portal. Okay. Okay, I need to go north. Okay, I can get you up. Right there? Uh, I need to go more north. He's directly north. Uh, there? Yes. Okay, next. Oh, I've got the flux capacitor. I need to go a teensy bit to my left. Right there, stop. Got it. Next. Ooh, alien in a jar. Oh, I have him. I need to get south. Oh, I can get you south. I need to get... Uh, I can to get you left. that way too. Yes, I got him. Okay. Oh, it's the picture. I got it. Got it. Oh, uh, I need to go either a little down or a little that way. Uh, I can go this Stop. way. Got it. Next. Ooh, okay, I've got it. Uh, I need to go a little bit up. I can get you that way. Uh, a little bit to the left, maybe, or up? No, my left. Stop. <laughs> got it. Okay, next. Last one. Yeah. Oh, it's directly to to my left. Yes, got it. We won. Wow, okay. So now the game instructs you, and as you can see, we've still got a little time left on that sand timer. It's just about to run out, but we did it. We got all 12 components. Now, it does suggest that you go through three rounds because of how fast these rounds are. We generally go through all, was it six? It's like eight maps. <laughs> yeah, we go through eight, all, all, uh, all of them usually in one go. So now we're going to head back to the table. We're going to talk about how this game feels, and we're going to review it and rate it. Okay, welcome back. So that was how you play a game of Minnow and Tori. Now, this is, obviously, this is a family way game, mm -hmm. and this is meant to be two players. Um... Do you have any negatives, any glaring negatives you want to talk about with this game? Um, I don't think so. I've got one. Uh, my one negative is there's not enough in the box. So you've got that handful of different boards. But on our first 
uh, first night playing this game, we literally played every board. We sh- well, yeah, but we're we're adults. I think this is aimed towards children. <laughs> that's that's true, but well, this was your buy. You, yeah. you 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 like a lot of the family weight games. But that being said, I had fun playing with it. But I I just wish there was more. My biggest negative is I wish there were more boards. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's enough boards in the box. So we played through all of them, and then you have this feeling where you're like, okay. Now we need to wait a while till we forget the boards, and then we'll just play through all of them again. But that being said, it's totally fine, and you can totally do that. As mm-hmm. long as you don't play them back to back, you're not going to feel like, oh, I've, I've just played all this. Right. Um, the play style is really interesting. Uh, one of the things that I find very interesting about this, and this, this is my opinion, is how this is a cooperative game where you really need to rely on your teammate because <clears throat> you can't tell them what to do all you can do is say, hey, um, I can't get further east, but if, if, if I can get further east in this direction here, I can get to one of the parts. Can you get me over there? And they have to figure it out on their side of the board. And they're like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, here you go. And you have to work together. And it really, this is this is a true cooperative game in that it, it works really hard at making sure there's no alpha gaming going on. Mm-hmm. Because everyone has to contribute. Yeah, you can't see the other person's board, so you don't know what they can do. You can't alpha game. And then the cards being random, sometimes it shows a component that's on your board, and then you're you're taking command for that component, and then sometimes it shows a, a, a component that's on your teammate's mm-hmm. board, and then they're going to take command and say, okay, I need to get this way to get to that component. And, and you discuss... Um, though quickly, because you have to keep right. moving. So what do you think? What are some pluses you think about Minnow and Tori? Uh, I like that... Um, I like the little magnetic aliens. You like the gimmick of the... the yeah. It is I, really cool. I, I've never seen that in a, another game that I can think of right now. No, I haven't either. And I mean, it, it lends itself really well to this family weight of a game. I'm not sure it would work well for a much more advanced game right. but but on this on this level it's it's really quite good so i mean other than that is, is is there much else to talk about it's a fairly simple game yeah i mean it's simple and it's easy but it's also fun yeah and this is i mean this is in my opinion this is one of those few games where if you have a kid who is six years old and wants to play a game with you this is a game you would enjoy with that child Mm -hmm. because this 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 is a fun game yeah um i mean we're both adults and we played through all of the different boards in here and enjoyed this game yeah so and the little the little things you got to pick up are hilarious all the little all the different because like there's that elvis hangy it's like an elvis air freshener or something (laughs) i think he's supposed to be just like a a rear view mirror yeah like stuffed doll it's all all weird things that they just had around or maybe a window sticky maybe it's a window sticky so yeah the um there's like a pair of underwear (laughs) yeah so okay i like this game i definitely can recommend it to you uh if either you have a child or you or the person you want to play with is a child at heart. I think this could be a really fun family weight game to play. I was a, I was not expecting much out of this when you bought it, mm-hmm. but then we played it and I was like, okay, this game is fun and it's silly and it's light and it's fast. And I'm gonna give it seven out of ten stars because you know what? I like it enough that as long as you give a bit of time between plays, I would definitely spend an hour playing all the all the different boards mm-hmm. with you again in a row if you give it enough time that I've forgotten the boards. Mm-hmm. Would you agree with that? Yeah. So where, where are you at point-wise with this? I think I would give it a seven also. Mm-hmm. And I do, I like that, again, it's the only game that I can really think of where you actually use the box as part of the game. No, there's, I think there's some others we have. I'm not sure I'd have to look again. but But the way it uses the box... And how it, it becomes this weird vertical board and all that is is pretty unique. I can't think of another one like that other than going all the way back to like Battleship. I mean, there used, used to be the versions. Box? Well, they had the it had a plastic thing. Yeah, there were versions of Battleship where the plastic thing was the whole game basically, and then you just like oh, like travel they, Battleship. Yeah, and then you just opened it up like that. Other than that, I can't think of another one that looks like this. But it definitely there was even though it's cooperative, it did evoke some of that that um, the 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 memory of battleship to me mm-hmm. because of the different sides of the board but so there you have it i give it seven stars lynn gives it seven stars 
we can recommend this to you either if you're looking to play with a child or if you just are looking for a light-hearted two-player cooperative game that can't i mean really they did a good job of making sure this game can't be alpha gamed mm -hmm. and i like that i think it's really good so there you have it do you have any comments questions or concerns on the game minnow and tori or on this video Feel free to put them in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see us do more review and tutorial videos like it, be sure to give this video a <laughs> like, share this video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Board Game Captain, that's Captain spelled with a K on YouTube, as well as hit that little bell icon on my channel to get notifications every time I upload a new video. And until next time, game, game on. on.